This is Sparta! Hey, what's going on everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Fallout 4 Mod Bundle. Now today is a bit special because instead of checking out our typical roundup of mods that bring you immersiveness or lore friendliness, we're just checking out some goofy fun mods that are going to bring some enjoyment to your game. And, uh, well, there's going to be some wacky stuff in here, so just stay tuned for a lot of fun that is going to come in the rest of this video. For starters, we're going to be checking out an absolute classic, which is the Propulsal 5000, also known as the Force Pushgun, by El Pollo Azul. This is a very unique weapon mod, and well, as for its effects, I'll just let it speak for itself. So as you can see, this is a weapon that doesn't do a ton of damage, but rather sends enemies flying at the speed of sound. And that effect is not only applied to enemies, but it can be applied to yourself if you're not careful. Now, as for acquiring this thing, there is actually a unique version of it that is carried around by a rather insane mailman. And I actually ran into this guy on accident. I was not looking for him yet. I was gathering B-roll for my other mods when I encountered him for the first time. And let's just say he is not somebody to be trifled with. So with that, it was time to enact revenge with our own special toy. Except he was able to get a lucky shot off on us, but we didn't go too far, so we were still able to stay in the fight with this one. So now, Ed, well, he got another lucky shot, but hey, those trees, those trees help to block us. And that's definitely a tip that I'd give you if you're trying to take this guy on one-on-one. -on -one. Use the trees to your advantage. But now we're able to line up our shot in our own toy. The skewer does have a knockback effect, which is going to play heavily into our advantages as we're able to put him on the ground with enough time to reload the next shot. We just can't miss, and he was able to get another lucky shot on us, but that's not going to stop us. Okay, yet again, those trees did a good job in deflecting us back into the ground, so we're up for round three, where we're going to line up our skewer shot, and this time we're going to put him down once and for all. And with a beautiful whiff, we get launched into oblivion, and uh, this was finally the shot that really put us down for good. So now it was time for another approach. Stealth. And cheating. Just taking a high-powered sniper and using a headshot modifier, and well, postman no more. But hey, now with that pesky postman out of the way, you can have lots of fun with your new propulsor weapon. And that includes things like bullying super mutants. As a matter of fact, you can go super mutant bowling. What a beautiful strike. You can become the first man of the commonwealth to go to the moon. But not with height like that. You're going to need to go somewhere taller. Like, oh, I don't know, the tallest building in the game. Just look at that view. Now simply line up your shot. Go ahead and pull the trigger and you are off to space with a pretty quick round trip that's going to take you straight back to the landing pad. But hey, you know what that means. Time for attempt number two. This time using a super mutant as a backboard, we get a pretty nice launch. Much more height than last time and I think enough distance to get us somewhere new that isn't the mass fusion building. Let's follow our descent and ooh, all the way back down to the ground below with a nice nap in a car. This mod is definitely the easiest way to go from clicking download to having endless hours of fun in Fallout. And this is only the first of our goofy mods. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. How many times have you run into this situation? Your super mutant companion is blocking the doorway that you desperately want to walk through. Well now thanks to the mod Get Out of My Face by C. Dante, you can remedy that situation. Simply walk up to them, hit the activate key, and the problem is no more. And while giving them a little push, your character even has some snippy little comments to say. Stay out of my way. Get out of my way. Now this mod brings a lot of utility to the game. For starters, you can push your companions around. Well, actually that's it. You can push your companions around. But that's a pretty good mod to have. No longer will you be plagued by dog meat blocking your doorways. Is Piper giving you dirty looks for using chems? Show her who's boss. Push strong off of the mass fusion building just for the hell of it. This mod lets you do all that and more by pushing your companions at the press of a button. Truly a wonderful mod to have in any immersive load order. 
So up next, we are checking out the Air Duster by Arbom04. And for all intents and purposes, this is really just a more toned down version of the Propulso 5000, but it does have its uses. For starters, this is craftable at the chemistry station, meaning that you can have as many of this thing as you want, meaning you can give them to your companions and settlers. This does take a new gas ammo type, which can also be crafted at the chemistry station. Now, where the Propulso is utter chaos, this one seems a little bit more controlled and direct. If you shoot this at an enemy, they're going to go flying in the direction that you are shooting at them. And whenever you shoot this at yourself, you will not send yourself flying. So if you're trying to use this in a less reckless manner, this is probably going to be a better go-to, as you're just going to stagger yourself rather than sending yourself into a ragdoll. Now, on top of that, there's actually a unique version of the weapon that can be found at Gorski's cabin, and that's going to be the freezing air duster. So on top of the knockback effect, you can also do some cryo damage to enemies, and if it's a critical hit, they'll actually be frozen in place. Now, I'm assuming this is a reference to turning an air can upside down, where it'll start blasting out a really quickly freezing liquid. Uh, don't try that at home. <sighs> Anyways, super fun, goofy mod, definitely worth downloading and trying out yourself as a fun little a companion to the Repulso mod. Have you ever thought that the weather system in Fallout 4 is a little bit too tame? That radiation storms that take away your health just isn't enough? You could try things out like Vivid Weathers, True Storms, or even NAC, but to me that's just still too mild. Which is why we bring in Fall Shark by M150, which makes it so that when it rains, it literally rains sharks. Because, you know, why not? So yes, you did hear me correctly. When it rains now in Fallout with this mod installed, it will rain in the newly modeled sharks, which will come down. They act much like the bloodworms from Nuka World, and they will attack you. But if you do happen to kill them, you can loot them for some new shark meat, which can be crafted into new food items. So it's a trade-off. Raining sharks, new food items. Win-win to me. In all honesty, I completely forgot this mod existed until I came across it one day again, and that's what kind of inspired this video. This is truly one of the most ridiculous and wacky mods that I can think of off the top of my head. Uh, assuming that this is created after the highly popular Sharknado films, now you can bring the Sharknado terror into Fallout. Now a slight drizzle in Diamond City will result in deaths of many children and sharks. This mod is definitely unique. And that is, I think, the best word that I can come up with to describe this mod. It is super interesting and bizarre, but it adds a nice little bit of challenge when it rains. Definitely a more intimidating than your typical Radstorm. As we move on to our final mod, we have something truly terrifying, and that is the Power Deathclaw by F Title. What this is going to do is add a new power armor frame that is modeled and textured to be a Deathclaw with humanoid physique. It is rather strange and kind of awkward to look at. If for whatever reason you wanted to actually get in this thing, the process is as follows. Head over to a chemistry station and craft yourself the power death claw frame ring. Equip the ring and when you head to your workbench in the special category, there is now the ability to craft a power death claw frame. Place it down in your settlement. Proceed to add in a fusion core in the weirdest way possible and then enter into the new power armor in possibly the most disturbing animations that I think I've ever witnessed. Once completed, you are now in your own Deathclaw suit because, you know, the world really needed that. If I'm being honest, it's actually pretty remarkable how well this mod works. You simply jump in this thing and you are now a Deathclaw with humanoid animations, but it works out pretty well. You hold weapons and it doesn't look that bizarre. I suppose if you really, really wanted to play a Deathclaw character that still was able to use weapons and equip items, then this would be your go-to mod. Additionally, you can actually equip power armor on top of this guy, as again, it is a power armor frame that has just been made to look like a Deathclaw. So since this is just the frame, you equip some power armor on top, and now you are a Deathclaw wearing power armor, which is kind of neat and very Fallout. The way that this is all done is a bit odd, but the end result is honestly kind of cool. <laughs> uh, definitely an odd mod as a whole though. And I'm not exactly sure who would be running this in their game, but if for whatever reason you want to, the option is there. If you want to try any of the mods that have been listed in this video, they will all be linked down in the description below, along with Xbox links if they are available. I hope you guys enjoyed this special episode of Fallout 4 Mod Bundle. Let me know in the comments if you want to see more videos where we take a look at some of the weirder stuff on the Nexus. It's kind of fun, and honestly, this was a blast to make. 
With that, if you did enjoy the video, don't forget to drop a rating, subscribe if you haven't already for more videos just like this, and I hope to see you in the next one. Peace! And really quick, I'd like to make a shout out to all of our patrons. Your donations are greatly appreciated and really help to support the channel and videos just like this one. So again, thank you!